Warning, this video is about improving sexual function in multiple sclerosis. And we're gonna be talking about some intimate things. So if that's not your cup of tea, just move on and check out one of my other videos. If you're still here, don't turn away because all of that starts right now. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. As a multiple sclerosis neurologist, it's my goal to help people and families impacted by MS live their best life despite having the condition. Now, yes, that involves treating MS attacks when they occur, and yes, that involves putting people on the most effective disease-modifying therapy they're comfortable with to slow down the disease, but it also involves optimizing their quality of life, helping them live their very best life despite the condition. That has everything to do with managing chronic symptoms. MS can impact anything that the nervous system is involved in, which is like all of the functions of the body, including the down there's. And unfortunately, sometimes in the setting of MS, people can develop difficulties with bowel, bladder, and sexual function. Now, in my experience, if you would like to make an adult human super miserable, mess with the down there's. Making it difficult to enjoy intercourse can be devastating. And it's also kind of a taboo topic that sometimes people are a little bit uncomfortable with. Well, I am not uncomfortable with it, and I'm delighted that you join me for this video so we can game out how to optimize the bedroom and improve sexual function in MS. I'm gonna throw 10 top tips at you. Let's get to it. Number one is active communication with your partner. If you can get naked and be intimate with someone, you better be able to talk about it beforehand. Gaming out the evening with your partner is a really, really important step. I don't want you to be shy and embarrassed about this. I want you to feel comfortable sharing things that work well for you, things that you don't like doing, things that you should avoid, goals of the evening, etc. If you can communicate with your partner, the success in the bedroom skyrockets. Number two, exercise regularly. Now, many of you that follow the channel know that I want all people impacted by MS to exercise as part of their lifestyle. It also helps a lot in the bedroom. You need to have a strong core to have meaningful sex. You need a strong butt, a strong back, strong abs. You need a degree of flexibility and balance. So train those things. It's a whole new reason to go to the gym so that you can perform better in the bedroom. Number three, managing stress. Now, no one goes home at night and says, hey, honey, let's get stressed out. That's not a conversation. And stress destroys sexual energy and stress can kind of take you out of the mood. And so recognizing that, speaking to it and addressing it can be really, really helpful. Let's try something that I've been doing in clinic recently that I think is really amazing. I've found that if I pause during a clinic visit and take three big breaths with the person I'm talking to, we both feel better afterwards. So let's just do that now. Ready? Just that little breathing exercise makes me feel less stressed out. Number four, consider creative positions. You may find that the traditional missionary position exhausts your back and makes your legs spasm and it doesn't lead to meaningful intercourse. Well, fortunately, there's a bunch of different positions people can enjoy, so be creative and try them out. You may find that a different position conserves energy and is much more fun for both of you. Again, great conversation to have. Number five is to consider a water-based lubricant. So a water-based lubricant can increase skin sensitivity and help improve sexual sensation, ultimately leading to a better and more meaningful orgasm. Bring a, a water-based lubricant into the bedroom. It can help. Number six gets really fun. This is bringing assist devices into the bedroom. Many people impacted by MS benefit from using a cane so that they don't fall or an ankle foot orthosis on their foot to keep their foot drop from catching the ground. I have an assist device right here. I, I wear glasses so that I can see. And there are awesome sauce assist devices to bring into the bedroom, such as a plug-in-the-wall vibrator. A plug-in-the-wall vibrator can provide overdrive stimulation, and it can help during intercourse, before intercourse. You literally can hold it between you and your partner. It's a great assistant to help make the evening super awesome. 
Similarly, I'm a big fan of a sex swing. If you think about energy conservation and difficulties with mobility, placing a partner in a sex swing that can easily move is phenomenal. And when you're done using it, you just unhook it from the ceiling and put it under your bed so no one knows it's there. Number seven is being mindful of prescription medicine side effects. There are a lot of medicines that people impacted by MS are prescribed for good reasons, which can impair sexual function. The most common example would be the SSRI antidepressants. So if your doctor's giving you, say, Zoloft to help with your mood, we need to make sure that it's not destroying your ability to enjoy the bedroom. Talking through your medication list and gaming out options to avoid sexual side effects, in my opinion, is a really good idea. Number eight goes back to that communication piece that I started with, specifically identifying certain limitations and things that you want to say up front we shouldn't consider. For example, I have some patients that if they put their body in a certain position, their leg falls asleep. Well, that's not a very fun way to have sex. And so having that conversation ahead of time makes the evening much better. Number nine is to seek help. Sex is important. You shouldn't be embarrassed about it. And if you're having difficulties, there's actually medical professionals that can super help you. My favorite recommendation is to visit a pelvic floor physical therapist. They are amazing. They can reactivate your pelvic floor, teach you things about your down there's that you didn't know, and massively help out in the bedroom. Number 10 is to keep an open mind. Sex should be fun and it should be a quality of life measure. So keep an open mind and be flexible in your thinking. Have a good time. Living your best life despite having MS takes work in all aspects of life, including in the bedroom. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear more about improving quality of life in MS, click the video that's on your screen right now. Until my next Monday morning video, or until my next live stream, or even better yet, until the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS, this is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.